The U.S. can confidently be considered a women on business nation, with several millions of successful and incredibly rich ladies that contributed to the state's economic wealth. Being considered a rich woman in America is quite an ambitious task, given that the bare minimum you should possess is $250 million. In today's video, we will be sharing top 10 richest women in USA and their lifestyle. So stay tuned till end of the video and don't miss any of these. But before continuing further, kindly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon, so you never miss any update from us. Let's continue with our video. Number 10. Diane Kemper, net worth $3.1 billion To launch the countdown, we got billionaire Diane Goldman Kemper. Mrs. Kemper is known to the public as a successful real estate investor and leading stakeholder in her family's business. She and her three siblings Alan, Jame, and Amy inherited one of the largest real estate portfolio in the States and own investments in over 1,900 residential and commercial properties in New York. Her net worth for 2017 was estimated to $3.1 billion, and the list of leading rentals got enriched by retail and office space on Madison Avenue, as well as several Upper East Side coupes. Number 9. Christy Walton, net worth $4 billion As we move up our list, we come across a popular Walmart Harris. Christy Rush Walton is the widow of John Walton, one of the sons of Sam Walton who founded and ran Walmart. Her exact net worth is not known to the public, but it is believed she owns over $4 billion. Her fortune, however, is not solely based on her shares in Walmart. She earns also from her husband's investment in First Solar. The couple has only one son named Lucas Walton. Christy Walton is involved in a large number of philanthropic activities and serves actively in successful nonprofits such as National Association of Trustees and Staff and the Philanthropy Roundtable. Meanwhile, she established her own charitable foundation, Walton Family Charitable Support. Number 8. Jin Suk Chang, net worth $4 billion. Jin Suk Chang has another successful American dream story to tell. As a young Korean immigrant, she arrived to the States with big plans and a relatively limited budget to make them work. Yet, she didn't give up. Jin got employed as a hairdresser, and she and her husband managed to save $11 for their first clothing store. The very same venue is nowadays one of America's best-known retail brands, Forever 21. Cheng's role in the company is Chief Merchandising Officer, where she is actively assisted by her two daughters, Linda and Esther. At the moment, they own over 800 stores in 48 different countries and provide jobs for 43,000 people. The family is participating actively in a variety of fundraising activities and charity groups. Number 7. Diane Hendricks, net worth $4.9 billion Ken Hendricks's widow and famous film producer Diane Hendricks also deserves a place on this list, with an estimated fortune of $4.9 billion. Born and raised in a dairy-producing family in Wisconsin, Diane decided to pursue a career in real estate and skipped college instead. She met Ken while he was working as a roofing contractor, and their professional collaboration ended up in a long and successful marriage with seven children. The couple created the roofing company ABC Supply, which soon grew into a large private conglomerate and one of today's best-known commercial construction companies. Following the death of Ken Hendricks in 2007, Diane became the sole owner and chairperson of Hendricks Holding. Diane Hendricks is also popular for charity work, as she is the main donor of Wisconsin and Rock County. Number 6. Marion Illich, net worth $5 billion. Position number 6 belongs to Lady Marion Illich, founder of Little Caesar's Pizza and owner of the large family business Illich Holdings. The Michigan born billionaire with Macedonian origins married Mike Illich in 1954, and the couple founded the small and local restaurant that has become one of the largest American franchises. After the death of her husband, Marion and her seven children inherited a sales chain of approximately $5 billion, which made her one of the richest businesswomen in the States and worldwide. Alongside their chair of restaurants, the family invests in sports, gaming, and entertainment. Illich is also the original investor in Detroit's biggest and best-known casino, Motor City, which is reportedly the world's most profitable gaming business owned and governed by a woman. Number 5. Blair Perry O'Keaton, net worth $12 billion. Blair Perry O'Keaton owns 25% of the shares at her grandfather's media company Cox Enterprises. The Harris owns capital estimated at $12 billion, but she has no active role in Cox Enterprises. The current chairman of the company is her brother James C. Kennedy. Number 4. Abigail Johnson, net worth 
$16 billion. Abigail Pierpont Johnson is the fourth lady on our top 10 list, Chief Executive Officer of Fidelity Investments FNR, and media's favorite businesswoman. The company was established by Edward C. Johnson EU, her grandfather, and currently ran by her father Edward C. Ned Johnson IIE. Abby has a company of her own, Fidelity International FIL, which brought her an enormous fortune of $16 billion. At the moment, she is also listed among the richest female entrepreneurs in the world. Number 3. Laureen Powell Jobs, Net Worth, $19.4 Billion Third on the list is 55 years old Laureen Powell Jobs, best known to the public as the widow of late businessman Steve Jobs with a fortune of $19.4 billion. She is a popular executive and very successful businesswoman that co-founded the Board of College Track and established independently Emerson Collective Advocacy that specializes in education and immigration reform. Before that, she graduated in political science at the University of Pennsylvania, School of Arts and Sciences, and earned an MBA in Stanford Graduate School of Business. She married Steve Jobs in 1991, with whom she has three children, Reed, Aaron, and Eve. Number 2. Jacqueline Mars, net worth, $22 billion. The second position among the 10 wealthiest U.S. ladies belongs to Jacqueline Mars, a 79-years-old Harris and influential investor known everywhere in the world. Mrs. Mars inherited the shares of her family business Mars, Inc., a confectionery company, worth $22 billion. In its shiniest years, Mars, Inc. was an undisputed leader in its industry, but got surpassed by Walmart in 1988. As reported by Forbes and Ranker.com, Mars also made it to the list of 30 richest people in the world for 2017. Jacqueline built her career administering the family business together with her sister Victoria B. Mars and abandoned the idea of working in anthropology, a major she graduated at Bryn Mawr College. She has never been politically active, but her family spent significant amounts on lobbying activities in the Congress in order to eliminate estate taxes. Number 1. Alice Walton, net worth $40.8 billion Alice Walton is the richest woman in America in 2023. Once again, the absolute leader is the Harris to Walmart stores, incorporated whose net worth is incredible $40.8 billion. According to Forbes, Walton is also the richest woman in the world, after she took the place of late Lillian Betancourt in September this year. Walmart has three brothers who also appeared on the list of richest people in the world. Despite of being the only woman among the hairs of a huge money-making machine, Alice Walton had an active role in maintaining and enhancing the family's fortune and did so while developing a career as an investment banker. We hope that you have enjoyed our video. Kindly give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon, so you never miss any update from us. Thanks for watching the video.